sitting down. John flew in, my producer, who's produced the last few albums of mine. Billy's produced my albums, so we're in good company here with production. Okay. <laughs> and um, Dr. John Purser's his name, and he came in uh, Sunday from Scotland to Boston, flew from Boston to my house in Alexander, well, the airport in Alexandria, Virginia. And then we drove down, it took a few days, and, um, but we're here because we're working on another project. And um, I'll tell you a little bit more. I'm gonna play for you what I hope to record tomorrow at the end of this set. But, um, so we came down to record for tomorrow. And um, <clears throat> so John is with me. And I asked him maybe if he would come up and do something with me as well. So without further ado, please introduce Dr. John Person. <laughs> Bless you, Bonnie. Um, she was introduced by youth to begin with, full of admiration, naturally, now by old age. <laughs> and <laughs> we are moving into a completely different kind of music, but reflecting in many ways the same fascination the Scots had with the fiddle, which was this wonderful instrument come over from Italy, but they weren't satisfied just with playing Corelli. They wanted to do something of their own. So you've heard what they did with their dance music, incredibly inventive. But there is another repertoire out there which virtually nobody was doing at all. And as a music historian, I was desperate to find someone who would play this repertoire. And the only person I found in the world, and so far still the only person, is with us here, on your right hand. So, <clears throat> what is the repertoire and why is it there's only one person really seriously engaged with it? Well, the repertoire is called Fiddle Pibruch. Pibruch means pipe music. So the Scots say they're a little bit crazy, as you've heard. Um, so uh, they tried to play pipe music on, on the fiddle. You know, how are you going to do that? You know, it's, it just doesn't figure. They retuned the fiddle, they invented new ways of bowing, they put in all different kinds of double stop, all sorts of fingering techniques. You're going to hear these. But one of the reasons that very few people do it is it's incredibly difficult. <laughs> and it takes years of understanding not just the fiddle and then learning to play it in different tunings, but understanding bagpipe music and the whole culture that goes with it. Because this music is also called Kilmog, the big music. These are variations on a theme and the tune that she is going to play for us in a minute, Marshall Loch and Alley, was composed probably about 1757 by a man called James Oswald. So these fiddle pibruch aren't necessarily modern pieces. Some of them are very old and this is an old and very beautiful one to which Bonnie has added an extra variation. It describes a battle Although it's composed by James Oswald, it's based on a song. And the song is based on the words of a dying soldier. Just a lad, maybe in his teens, dying at the Battle of Sheriff Muir. And whoever was there heard him saying this and made a song out of it. It's very simple. Hech miachi kro kintala, take me home. Take me home to the cattle folds of Kintail. Take me to my people, to the winter grazing, to the spring grazing, to the summer grazing. And this song was turned, uh, made out of his words, and then the pibruch, as you will hear, comes from that. So if you give me a, a bee bonny, and then we'll sing. Right. So this is in the Gaelic language, which is still spoken where I live. My neighbour's a native speaker at the surface language. Teach me yaki, horo yaki, teach me yaki, croak in tile, teach me yaki, horo yaki, teach me yaki, croak in tile, 
Ich mit Lum hinon, Lum hinon, Lum hinon. Ich mit Lum hin, Gondalon. Ich mit Lum hinon, Lum hinon, Lum hinon. Ich mit Lum hin, Krobidon. Ja, Thank you. 
play our favorite tune when we see each other this is our reunion song <laughs> <laughs> and it is a beautiful song thank it's... you Bonnie for letting me play with you <laughs> you're welcome this is <laughs>